Min Woo Yuk is a South Korean actor who rose to musical stardom by proving his singing and acting skills through the musical Les Miserables, has firmly established himself as a leading role in leading the way to success. Whenever he stands on stage, he captivates the audience at once with his powerful eyes. He also appeared in Korean television series such as The Third Charm and Love with Flaws and garnered even more fans through his eye-catching acting in Dr. Cha. Because of the positive feedback he's been receiving, many viewers have grown curious about the actor. Check out these 10 things you didn't know about Min Woo Yuk. He was a baseball player. Having the real name Park Song Yuk, Min Woo Yuk was born on September 18, 1983, in Seoul, South Korea. Boasting a height of 187 centimeters, he began playing baseball after his father wanted him to become a professional athlete. Unfortunately, he has to quit due to an injury that has hindered him from playing professionally since. Then he suddenly debuted as a singer. From player to singer, the connection between the two is not easy to draw. He then changed his career to become a musical actor, which is quite unusual in a place where even those who majored in musicals are not easily accepted. He had a particularly tall stature, so even minor mistakes stood out, but he soon adapted to the stage, and when his work came to an end, he was brilliantly completing his role. While it was a difficult time, he doesn't regret anything that happened, as it laid the foundation for who he is today. He said, I failed twice, but now I think that I did baseball and singing in order to do a musical. He was frequently beaten and restrained by his former manager. He revealed on NBC Everyone's Video Star that his former manager used physical violence on him on many occasions. In fact, the physical violence was said to be severe enough that the actor had to be treated seven times for concussion. At the time, I did not know how to fight back. I thought it was like that for everybody. He continued the confession, saying he was once hit in the head with a beer bottle because he was late for half an hour to an event. The reason he could not expose the abuser at the time was that he was the eldest son in the house, and he didn't want to be a burden to his parents with extreme concerns. The entire audience was infuriated when he revealed that he was locked up for nine months. He knew that I could not go home with bruises and cuts on my face because my parents did not know about the assault. He used that against me and beat me up consistently, so I would always have bruises and cuts on my face. According to the actor, thankfully, the manager is no longer working in the industry, and to this date, he does not know why the manager had to be so abusive. He used to be a workaholic. In addition to musicals, Min Woo Yuk, who appeared in some South Korean dramas and became known for his face, also ran without rest. He likes to be active because he gets sore when he's just lying around at home. He once said, I was a workaholic for several years. I was afraid that I would never be able to stand on stage again. He forced himself to stand on stage despite an ankle ligament rupture. Les Miserables was his first major theater work and his first one-cast performance. He had vocal nodules, so he performed while getting an injection in his neck every day. Towards the end of the musical, he suffered an ankle ligament rupture injury during the performance. He shared, when I went to the hospital, they told me not to stand on stage for six months. It was an opportunity that came to me, but I could never quit. After grinding my teeth and receiving ligament injections, I took a break for just 10 days before returning to the stage. But those 10 days of not being able to stand on stage really felt like hell. It was my role, but it seemed like I was going crazy when someone else was doing it. In the end, the piece was so precious to me that I ended up standing on stage again, even holding on to my bruised legs. It was a work that became a turning point in the life of a musical actor. He got the nickname King of Destruction. The musical actor gave all his efforts to put on a stunning performance. What he doesn't realize, the property was often damaged while he was on stage, to the point where he was nicknamed the King of Destruction by the audience. In response to the nickname, he said, King of Destruction. No, hmm, I don't know why something like this only happens to me. It is deeply regretted. While the show was going on, the props broke down unnoticed. I'm not the king of destruction after all. He had a situation where he couldn't produce a high note. Having appeared in many musicals with extremely high notes, he naturally overworked his vocal cords. The performance he was doing was cancelled due to COVID-19, and he took a long break for the first time. He didn't sing, so even the slightest shout would give his throat a hoarse sound. He thought that rest would make his vocal cords healthy, but he reached a situation where he could not produce high notes. 
He said, I felt fear like a panic disorder. I practiced over and over again by singing the numbers of the work I had been doing in the car every night. I felt the importance of the stage once again. Then he got an offer to star in the musical Gwangju, which further catapulted his name as a musical actor. He likes bowling at the stage of having a professional bowling license. Recently a lot of people are fans of this actor, but Minu Yok himself is a huge fan of bowling. He fell in love with bowling and even got his professional bowling license. He is also a member of the 20th Korean Professional Bowling Association. He received a lot of support from his wife to rebuild his career. The ordeal he went through when his dream as an athlete was frustrated, another talent he discovered while walking the path of a singer until he met his life partner and regained his dream again. He married his longtime partner Lee Sami, a former idol and actress, in 2012, and they have two children. The actor said in an interview that the wedding ceremony was held amidst the blessings of many people, but there was no rosy future. After marriage, he broke up with his agency and had to start a part-time job. Sometimes his wife went through some hardships because of her job, and he felt sorry for himself who had no choice but to see her like that. My wife said, I got married to make you an actor. What are you doing now? Your dream is my dream. To be honest, my livelihood came first, so I had no time to worry about dreams. Meanwhile, his wife's support and criticism came as very influential for him. He felt a small fire in his heart rekindle, which he had tried to cover up with the excuse of making a living while being chased by reality. Just in time, the audition took place. I was able to return to the stage again because it was a work I had participated in in 2011. Since then, I started my second act as a full-fledged musical actor. He established an agency. Aside from acting, he also established an agency. He drew attention by announcing his independent move, saying, I founded EM Company, with the mindset of making good things with the people I want to do well. My wife is the CEO. I tend to rely on her. I need her help when making decisions. Even the clothes I wear, when I go out, I say, how about this? He's good at housework. After appearing in Mr. House Husband Season 2, the number of female fans increased, but the men reprimand him for being too diligent in doing housework. The actor said in an interview, you think it's set up, but that's the real me. Just like my appearance on TV, I'm a family man in real life and help out a lot with the housework. Since I lived alone, I used to make everything at home instead of buying food.